Hi, this is Dr. Brandon Erickson. I wanted to talk to you briefly today about ACL reconstruction surgery and what you can expect after surgery. Now, as we talked about in the office, the ACL is one of the ligaments inside the knee and it prevents the shin bone from moving forward on the thigh bone. It's very important in rotational maneuvers. It's less important when you're walking in a straight line, but it has a lot of function in athletes, especially when they cut and pivot. And so when you tear your ACL, we generally recommend that we fix it. And the way we fix it is that we use a graft, usually taken from your own leg, but occasionally a donor graft, to remake that ACL. Now, the surgery itself is an outpatient surgery. You come and go home the same day. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour to do the procedure. You have a nerve block that helps with your pain. And so when you wake up from surgery, you're gonna have a big bulky bandage on your leg, as well as a long hinge knee brace. The hinge knee brace is there to help protect your leg while your quad muscle is waking up in the first six weeks out from surgery. One of the biggest things we have to fight through after ACL surgery is getting the quad muscle to wake up. And that's why it's extremely important for you to start therapy either the day after surgery or two days out from surgery, because I want you to start working on your range of motion immediately. And the therapist is gonna help you with that. Now, range of motion is great, both in extension and flexion, but the extension is the most important thing after this surgery. It's very important that we get and maintain that extension the first five or six weeks out from surgery. So if we don't get that, it can sometimes be hard to get that down the road and that can cause a problem when you're walking. The bending almost always comes, so that's not really an issue, but we wanna make sure we get that extension. And when you're at home after surgery, I don't want you to put a pillow under the knee, I want you to put a pillow under your heel to help keep that leg straight so that you can maintain that extension. Now I mentioned you'll have a nerve block after surgery. You also go home with some pain medicine, an anti-inflammatory, Tylenol, and also a pain medicine pill. You'll have an aspirin as well to help with blood clots because I don't want you to get a blood clot. It's highly unlikely, but we use the aspirin anyway just to help decrease that risk uh, to almost nothing. Now, I want you to take the anti-inflammatory and the Tylenol scheduled for the first few days, and you only take the narcotic pain medicine if you need it. If you don't need it, don't take it. And most people don't need it after a few days. Now again, you have to have talked to your therapist before surgery to have an appointment set up for the day or two after surgery. It's very important that you do this beforehand because I don't want you to be in a position where we finish up surgery and then you have to try to find a therapist that can get you in immediately. I really want you to get this set up ahead of time. Now, the other thing you wake up from surgery with, as I mentioned, you'll have that long brace on. You also have a bandage that goes around the leg. Now, the bandage can come off after two or three days and under the bandage, you'll notice that there's a waterproof dressing and then a couple of poke holes the size of my fingertip. The poke holes are where we used our arthroscopic equipment inside the knee, and the bigger incision is where we took the graft from and also drilled our tunnels for the ACL. That waterproof bandage can actually stay on until I see you back in the office, um, and when you shower, you can cover the other poke holes just with bandage. You don't have to really protect them with water. The caveat is, when you're showering after surgery for the first five or six weeks, I want you to keep the brace on or sit in a shower chair. So, you can either put a big garbage bag over the brace, walk into the shower and shower that way, or crutch in, or walk into the shower with the brace on, sit in a chair, take the brace off, shower, and put the brace back on. Because I don't want you to slip in the shower the first couple of weeks out from surgery, because if you do, you run the risk of re-tearing that graft, and that would be very unfortunate. One of the things we have to work on, again, as I mentioned, is waking your quadriceps muscle up after surgery. Now the purpose of the brace is to help protect the leg while that quad muscle is waking up because the quad's a good stabilizer to the knee and helps take some stress off of the ACL. So I have you in the brace until the quad muscle completely wakes up. And really when to come out of the brace is a decision between you, me, and your physical therapist. And usually that's at about six weeks of the bracing come off. Sometimes a little bit sooner, sometimes a little bit longer, depending on how you're feeling. Now, as far as weight bearing goes after surgery, if we didn't have to do anything to your meniscus and we just had to fix the ACL, you can put full weight on the knee right away with the leg in full extension. You can use crutches if you want to for the first few days or weeks, depending on how, how you feel and how comfortable you are with this. Um, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Now, if we did do any work to the meniscus, especially if we fixed the meniscus, I will have you take some weight off of the knee for the first few weeks. So it's just important for us to communicate after surgery so you understand which camp you fell into. But if it's just a standard ACL and we don't do any work to the meniscus, you can put full weight on it right away with the leg in extension. Now, these are just some of the common questions that we get after surgery. The other questions that we often get are, are about jogging and returning to sports. As, far, as long as your therapy is going well and you're recovering well from the surgery, I usually let you start jogging somewhere around three to four months, depending on how your knee is progressing. Your knee has to be dry, meaning it's not swelling at all. And your quad muscle has to be coming back nicely before we let you start jogging. And we have you do jogging and then work on faster jogging, some sprinting uh, for the first several months.
Then we work on cutting and pivoting maneuvers. The whole time we're still working on core strength, hip strength, and quad muscle function because these are really important to help stabilize the knee and help make sure that the graft is not gonna see any excess stress when you go back to sports. Now getting back to full sports after an ACL usually takes somewhere around 10 to 12 months and that varies based on the sport and your activity level. But that's a good rule of thumb to go by. Now, certainly if it takes a little bit longer, that's not a problem. Now when you do go back to sports, some people will wanna wear a brace when they play. That's totally fine. I do not make you wear a brace when you go back to play sports afterwards, but if you'd like to have a return to sport brace or you feel more comfortable in a brace, that's completely fine. We can certainly help you get that arranged, okay? Again, these are just some of the common questions that we get after surgery. Myself or my physician's assistant, we're always available if you have any questions, but hopefully this helps clear up some of the questions that you might have had. Have a nice day.